It's Motu Joe, and we are live. Yay! <sighs> yeah. It's cool. It's fun. We're going to talk a little bit about CGI. We're going to talk a little bit about FYE, some of the stuff that I was able to pick up from there. And um, we'll touch a little bit about Origins. Might even rip open something, which is a pretty rare thing for me to do, but I might, I might just do that today, too. So, all that's coming up next. Oh, I missed the button. <laughs> that's why I, that's why i like doing them live when you make a mistake it's just it's real it's organic it's cool it's fine but um so yeah you can kind of see a lot of stuff behind me and uh one of the things that stands out which isn't on the description is that giant mama jamma it is absolutely spectacular um i'm able to keep it out for a little while down here and uh i'm going to enjoy the fact that i can do that but you will see that there's a few things behind me, a couple boxes. There's some things down here. And um, you know what? Why don't we do it? Why don't we get into it? Here we go. I'm so excited. I am so excited. I am so excited all the time. Hold on. Let me scroll up and catch some comments here. I apologize. I missed some coming on. Nelson, what's up, man? John, thank you, thank you. The background, I love that thing. It is so cool. Cindy, thank you for tuning in. I appreciate it very much. Chris, what's up, bud? Uh, what was he about? Oh, watched Uncharted. Uh, oh, cool. Let me know. I want to know how that goes. I'm, I'm excited to hear what you think, John. Uh, John's on his way to go see Uncharted. We can't see the comments. Jason, hello. Thank you for tuning in. Dan, what's up, man? This is cool. Yay. Hi, everybody. Jeffrey, what's going on, man? So here we go. Here is a box. This is something that many of you have probably already seen, but for me, it's just kind of a funny thing. Um, there, uh, I, I was missing these from PowerCon this year, so they were kind enough to send them to me, and um, I have the pin sets now. I, I, it's cool. These were only available at PowerCon 2021 exclusive. These are different from the Retro Rags Limited pin that, that actually I put out with, with them. Um, it is specifically a PowerCon pin, and these are faction pins. So different things, but I was missing this. They were cool enough and kind enough to send it to me because uh, I was missing it. What else was there? Well, I got Strider. And this is one of the cool times where the store was able to help out and hook it up, and it worked out really, really well um stefan what's up man yeah are you coming up here next we're talking about fye brian what's up man ah cindy you need those yes um they might be made available again next year if they have overruns i don't know um those are actually my order though that, that was missed so it was uh they sent them to me so it was cool but stridor which i know many have seen it's been out here's the back art this was an early shipment or a shipment that I've had this now for a few weeks uh, that our local targets got. And a lot of times when the items first come in, you sometimes can't order them online. It's it's very convoluted. I can never seem to figure out how and when and why I can order sometimes go pick up sometimes and not even when I know it's there at the store, but this worked out. I just simply went click buy, boom, went over there day and a half later. There it is. Per, you know, relatively good. There's a slight little bend. There's a little kink somewhere. I don't remember where it was at, but no razor cuts, nothing crazy. And um, it's a really cool, really, really cool, um, I guess, vehicle accessory. Um, I am waiting for, very patiently, the Battle Cat and He-Man 2-pack. Uh, I really want to open up one of those because Battle Armor is my favorite. Uh, I just, I'm waiting for them to go drop down on clearance like the Rise of Evil 2-pack did, which... It has to. It has to eventually drop down. Jeff, what's going on, man? Appreciate you tuning in, watching. For those of you that haven't already done so or don't know, this is live both on YouTube and Facebook. So if you're watching on Facebook, please like it, share. If you're watching on YouTube, please hit the subscribe button and the bell so that way you get alerted every time that I go live. It'd be great. It'd be fun. I try to have fun when I do these things. So hopefully you enjoy it. Kirk, what's going on, man? Sorry I missed the comment there. Yes, Jeff, got it from Target. 
Peps, what's up, man? Thank you. Hello. So, all right. So this guy here, this is again, this is really cool. This is the community helping out. Big Lots had these. And there's an interesting story on how stores like uh, Big Lots get these that Scott and I like put out. You can check uh, check it out. Uh, search YouTube. Uh, Toy Guru, Scott Toy Guru. Um, and it just explains on how Big Lots gets to things like this that are supposed to be, you know, exclusive or online or toys. But regardless, these were only five dollars, five bucks. And if I'm not mistaken, maybe it was $9.99 and then it was buy one, get one free. They were dirt cheap and it was Thanksgiving Day. So none in the area that I found. But friends of mine uh, down down towards like the southeast side scott was able to find a couple of them then he went to a different toy show that i wasn't at that my friends here kyle was at he picked them up from scott to bring back up here to me so the friends the community looking out helping out because i really wanted to open one of these and um yeah geez i didn't even take a look at this you can even see actually you can even see the price tag it still says big lots 20 oh, really really blinding there sorry it says 20 dollars, but it wasn't 20 dollars it wasn't it was only five or ten dollars something like that they need to make another uncharted game last one was four years ago oh it's been that long since they've had i gotta admit i remember playing the original and it was awesome it was so cool but that dates me a little bit too um i haven't been much of a gamer probably in close to 15 years now all right all right here's a really good example of the last time i was a hardcore gamer uh, that I would consider a hardcore gamer. Uh, Tiger Woods. Tiger Woods 2010? No. 2005? Two? I, whatever it was. Tiger My friends, wouldn't, they wouldn't play with me. They wouldn't let me play with Tiger. They wouldn't let me play with... I couldn't even play with any of the... It was just... I was obsessed with that game. Then after that, I got a little bit into Ratchet and Clank. And then that was it. I, I really just kind of... Stop playing games. I am way off tangent here to help. All right. So I am going to open this bad boy up. I will take pictures of it, but I'm going to get through some of the other stuff to show you guys all what, what was picked up and, and recently got. FYE. FYE. If you guys have an FYE by you, around you, I made a post a week or so ago about the opportunities that was at FYE. Nationwide, from what I could tell, they were all – um buy one get one free for everything he-man related except for pops now i was told one place they didn't allow figures to be counted but my fye would allow figures to be counted i didn't didn't go for it but um because i already had the figures and they only had evil and, and tila and i had had those already so no biggie yeah jeff thank you it's typically my standard mo i try to keep them earlobes and I got big ears so it works out to have decent little these little chops um so I cleaned up I went there once I left and within I was still in the parking lot after I did the video and Ronnie from Sweden reached out and said hey man I want some of that stuff so I went back the next day and contacted friend Stefan in Germany and we I bought so much stuff you can see a little bit of what's left not the power sword. By the power of Such a cool, this is such a cool sword. It is not soft. That does not feel good. But man, this is a cool sword. Four or five or six different sound effects. It. This is so cool. That's one of the pieces. That wasn't what I was going to show you. This is what I was going to show you. This goes back one, two, three, four. There's the Skull of God cereal. Um, so these guys, ah, that's in my collection. I don't want to drop that one. So these guys, which is laughable. We understand this guy. I am not condoning $20 cereal. Understand that right now. I'm not condoning that. But this, this cereal was $20 a box. Now there is a small justification for it in that there is the world's smallest figure inside and those at some places would be as much as ten dollars most of the time i think they're around six or seven bucks but even then let's just call it let's just call it seven bucks that means this is a 13 dollar box of cereal that's stupid expensive even if it's novelty 
Um, but they were on sale for $5, as you can see, $5, $5. But it was buy one, get one free. So I just bought a whole bunch of them. So many of them that um, Stefan is planning on, I think he has six or seven boxes coming that he's planning on pouring a, a bowl and having some fun uh, jumbo. Like, it's just, it's going to be cool. You For $2.50, what the hell, man? I have surprises being sent to people as well, just just because uh, because it's two fifty. Like hell yeah, I'm gonna spread the wealth. Yes, I did throw a few in storage, and I will sit on those for God knows how long. Because when you look at how much some of the stupid box of cereals go for now, I'm like, yeah, for two fifty, I'll throw a couple in the attic and forget about it. Who cares if it's spoiled? Someone will want it. Miguel, what's going on, man? Oh, you need that sword for your kitty. They, you know, next time I see one, I will pick one up. I have actually seen another one in store. Next time I see it, I will snag it. No problem. And uh, if I find one online, I will let you know immediately. Really, Dan? So Dan just let us know that it was still buy one, get one free as of two days ago at FYE. So that might still be a hot item for you guys to go check. If you haven't been to them, you could still be well stocked. You know, I, I know people that have gone, they're just not a, FYE doesn't seem to get much traffic in certain areas. So, for example, when I went in there, the blankets were $19.99. They were, oops, wrong way, $19.99. They were originally $29.99. But again, buy one, get one free. So I, I did. I got one. One of these is going up to my trailer uh, for hunting. So I got a blanket up there. Uh, I've actually been planning on getting one so that worked out well so i got an extra blanket up there and uh one of those will go into storage just to forget about it. again for, for 10 bucks i was like yeah i'll i'll do that now unfortunately they did not have multiples of the backpack they did have one and i got it this is exactly exactly like the exclusive that entertainment earth had um and there's an interesting story there too that i'll share this is the exact same bag exact same specs exact same stitch it's just a different pattern fabric or leather or pleather because this is again lounge fly and you can see it says lounge fly it focuses there you go so their quality bag inside it's felt there's a big felt pad inside you've got your same uh havoc staff horn zipper tie here but the thing with uh, the, the other one that I had, the purple one that I shared earlier in another live, uh, was listed as an Entertainment Earth exclusive. And the funny thing is, is like a week later, it shows up on Big Bad Toy Store, which I love Big Bad Toy Store. I was like, whoa, 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 this said exclusive. And I checked back and it still says exclusive. Um, so what it, what it meant was, is that it's an Entertainment Earth exclusive, but they still will sell it to other outlets. So... And it was also free shipping when I paid for shipping. So I asked them what was going on. And they're like, oh, we understand. I apologize for the confusion. And here's a refund for your shipping. So kudos. They explained it to me and good to go. Which is kind of funny how I thought it was an exclusive and it really wasn't an exclusive. It's still a wicked backpack. It's still available. I think it's actually slightly less now, uh, which I understand that. And if you wanted it, I would go get one of them because that purple bag is sick. That purple backpack with the adidas or uh wasn't adidas that just recently came out with the shoes um the black skeletor with the glow in the dark and that backpack it mm, yeah that looks sick oh you're welcome Stephanie. you're just tuning in thank you jason what's up man all right so what else is there what else is there? what else so uh, oh all right this believe it or not we're gonna digress yes there's more stuff behind me a box this is not Mochi related, not even listed in the description, but it is one of the items that there's nostalgic bug, obviously, that I have, and I think many of us watching have the same nostalgic bug. This was an item that once it came out, I knew I had to have. I was like, oh, and I think you'll understand why, because this is a, a hybrid. It is a mashup between two properties, and uh, I think it came out great. Mad Balls. 
but not just any mad ball this is the exclusive my pet monster mad ball yeah they did an homage figure where it's like my pet monster maybe better without the glare so there's a picture of him that's what this bad boy is um now it's it's hard to see because it's a double blister like this but i had to get him who doesn't who doesn't remember my pet monster for one and who doesn't remember mad balls the fact that horn head was able to basically just have a simple paint job to and just instantly be oh my gosh that's my pet monster was amazing so yeah i had to get this i had to get this uh, who was it that put it out? It was a DNA Toys, I think, was it was. I'm just probably saying it wrong. Premium DNA. Official Mad Ball. Official Mad Ball. Ink Fusion Empire. Hmm. Maybe that's the sticker of where I bought it from. I don't remember even. <laughs> what, Scott? <laughs> uh, hey, what's up, Brian? Uh, all right, so what else is there? What else? All right, so there was also a fun thing. You may may not see these yet, but Action Figure Adventure, you've seen and heard me talk about it. Uh, season two, there was a charity that we did with Justice Curry and Pixel Dan, and we sold a bunch of stuff in one day. There was a whole bunch of other stuff that was remaining and part of the fun story, and a very well-known fellow collector by the name of Gino stepped to the plate and uh helped out big time and also not only that he dropped off a little thank you for me as well in these which i know you i know i know the knockoff collectors have seen these these were coming out hot and heavy around kane county this last go around these are absolutely 100 mexican bootlegs but you have a battle armor skeletor bootleg and a scare glow and this this does glow it glows really well like surprisingly well um they're freaking awesome so they're masters of the galaxy they're knockoffs again they're not something that i i typically have but the interesting thing is is gino hit the nail on the head he's got a battle armor skeletor and scare glow i mean this is awesome so i had to share these i had to say thank you to gino again because these are freaking killer H.O. in Mexico. Made in Mexico. Mexican bootlegs. Gotta love them. Gotta love them. All right. The CGI series. Season 2 is about to come out. I think it's March 3rd is when Season 2 comes out. My wife and I have been re-watching Season 1, and she didn't She didn't see Season 1. She didn't see much of it, and she's getting a kick out of it. She's a little like, oh, okay, so she's going to be the sorceress. And, oh, Wait, Ram, ma'am? <laughs> That's funny. All sorts of funny things that happened in it. I had been missing this from the first release. Now, when they first, first came out with the figures, you had He-Man, Skeletor, Trap, Jaw, and Man-at-Arms. But I could never find this Man-at-Arms anywhere. Well, apparently it was a short pack. When some of them first came out, there was four. And there was only one of these or, or to some to that effect. The next go around, they were put in, I think, two packs, and you got two man at arms and two trap jaw. And um, that's how I was able to get this. Very happy because that was that was wigging me out. I know it was, it was stupid, but I'm like, I don't want um, why can't I find this? I mean, all the stores had them, but not that guy. All right. Big bad toy store coming through. Uh-huh. These guys. No, wait. Did I just misspeak? I might have just misspoke. Did I come through on the pre-order? I think these came through on pre-order. I can't even remember now. Maybe these are still on pre-order. I got a bunch of stuff on pre-order with Big Bad. You guys got to check them out. Anyway, I don't even remember where I got these now. I just said that. Orco. Yes. I'm sorry. If you haven't watched it yet at this point, you can't get mad at me. I'm not ruining anything. I'm sorry. Don't hate me. This is orco and yes he is a robot it is really cool interpretation i cannot wait to see where season two goes with this particular character and yes this is the sorceress this is the sorceress we'll say powered up 
as we would see here as a sorceress. So was able to get these. These are really cool. I do enjoy the series. Uh, the cartoon is good. Um, there is actually one more seat, uh, uh, FYE thing up here too. Sorry. Battle Cat. This is also a target score. This was me calling in because you couldn't buy it online, but you could pick it up in store. I'm like, all right, whatever, stupid little semantics. So I bought it, went in, was fine. Now, it wasn't a perfect package in my, I mean, there's a little tear on this. You know, it's, that's not great, but whatever. Um, it's a really cool toy. Um, you can see his arm swings out, but. You can even still do it here. Arm swung out to the side. It's cool. There's a lot of articulation in it. It's pointy. It looks aggressive, but it's not. It's it's a cool toy. And then here's the back. All right. What is that? Yes. I have not ordered two. I really want to order another one of these so bad. I really, truly do because I want to put it together. This is the Mega Constructs Havoc staff. I saw this at PowerCon. I knew I wanted to have it. There's an idea to give you the scale on how big it is. You can see the guy there holding it. That, it's not true one-to-one, -one, but it's got to be like close to like maybe you know 1.5 to 1 or something like that or if i said that backward you know what i mean um it's amazing and when i do get another one and i do put it together you guys will know you'll see it so this was the other thing and i apologize i'm bouncing around again i had not seen this this was skeletor wrapping paper that was at fye again buy one get one free so yeah sign me up let's do it now, where did all this, I took a picture of all of this stuff and there were slippers I picked up and all this, it, it filled this counter space behind me. Um, all of that stuff has been pretty, is, is, is gone. Some of it's went to, um, well, it's on its way to Sweden uh, via St. Louis. And another one is literally in my car right now on it's gonna be dropped off to go to Germany. Um, I can't say where the other things were sent because I don't want to really reveal the surprises that were done, but, um, yeah, I'm excited about it. It was fun. And, um, I, I again, I encourage you to hit your FYE if you can. Oh, I'll, oh, also got more hot sauce. I got more hot sauce. So uh, that's back there too. Um, at any rate, it was a ton of stuff, uh, over the last couple of weeks. It doesn't seem like it, but it's been building up. I wanted to go live, uh, Super Bowl, family, life, all the stuff is always, you know, flying around. So I'm glad I was able to take the time. And I'm very appreciative of you taking the time to watch the video and share with me. So if you have any questions, please let me know. Send me a message. You can find me through Retro Rags Limited. You can find me through Motu Joe. You can find me through Mock Masters. You can find me a lot of different routes. Feel free to reach out, ask a question, and I will do my best to answer your questions and get you taken care of. Thank you again for watching. And... Oh, Sean, Wisconsin. What's up, bud? Oh, let me check the comments here before we go out. Heard any word about Mattel Creation, Sun Man? When is it shipping? I have not, Jason, heard when the Mattel Creations are shipping. I have heard that people have already gotten, if I'm not mistaken, seen a few people have already gotten their hands on Sun Man, the retail version. And if that's the case, I am very eager to get my hands on it because of the blister. The blister on that goes so far to the edge we don't know i don't know if the mock master case will fit we don't know if any case will actually work with it i do speculate i do that our case will work but i want to get one to test it so soon enough we'll know what else comments well as well timothy what's up man mad ball rocks yes i'm sorry i'm just catching up with these comments gino what's up man i just thanked you for the figures these are freaking so cool that's so wicked dude so cool Man, talk about a nice shipment you just got. That was pretty cool. I saw your your uh, one-handed unboxing just just recently. That's 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 uh, that's choice. Good, good stuff. 
Armando, what's up, man? Thank you again for tuning in. I know I'm just about to sign off, but I appreciate it. If you guys haven't, again, hit like, subscribe, share, do all that fun stuff, help grow the channel, and share the love of Motu. If you have any questions, again, you know where to reach me. Signing off. Have a great rest of your week and into your weekend. Hopefully, we'll see you. We'll do one more live, pictures, or something. But take it easy, everyone. Bye-bye. Double-click to sign off, right?